Thank you for watching. Welcome to the show. And before I get into this rant, please donate when you can. Many of you are very generous. We do not make money on this show, but the staff have to be paid. They're getting hungry, they tell me. So please make a donation, keep us on the air because we need independent analysis in Canada, particularly at this time when there are still so many sycophantic people in the modern press. The Prime Minister lost a seat recently in Toronto. Not by much, it wasn't catastrophic. But now the press is turning. All those journalists who have been defending him for years, turning over inside out, saying he is the blessed one, are now saying, oh, oh, oh we might need an election. Well, look at his, his Minister of Immigration, Mark Miller, who's in the cabinet because he's a good friend of the Prime Minister. He is an incompetent minister dealing with Native affairs. He's been incompetent dealing with immigration. He's the guy who said, we have made a conscious decision that Canada should be an open country. Ridiculous. And we are suffering as a result of this man. But he said, Oh, there's no problem with the Prime Minister. This is just like all governments around the world. People are complaining about governments and this too will pass. Such arrogance. What's happening in Canada is that people are starting to realize that this government is incompetent. It is corrupt. There are former MPs who are multimillionaires as a result of this uh, government. There are ministers who have pulled, like the Minister of Defense, pulled his friends his compatriots first out of Afghanistan before regular Canadian soldiers. Why? That was a corrupt decision. We are dealing with a bombastic government. The Prime Minister can chastise anybody who criticizes his, his uh, climate change, his tax. Well, we know that that is simply not working. And now the press for years has been saying that is wonderful. They're starting to realize, you know, there is another side to this argument without being a climate denier. We have a Prime Minister who would take an incompetent woman for an appointment over a very qualified, competent man any time. Why? Because she's a woman. We have a prime minister who's been leading our country simply down the garden path. Our defense has no money for bullets. The prime minister has piles of money, billions, for his favorite charities. Doesn't go to government, doesn't go to parliament. He is there like the emperor with no clothes. He just doesn't realize it yet, but he's still making the decisions because that's the way our government is working these days. Cabinet will not say anything to him. Caucus is just starting to say, you know, we're all gonna lose our seats. We're all gonna lose our pensions unless we get a new leader. I have something to say to those caucus members. Look at John Turner after Trudeau won. He couldn't have done anything but lose. Look at Kim Campbell after Mulroney. She couldn't do anything but lose. Some people say, she, yes, she could have won. I disagree. People were just fed up with the government. I get that. Mulroney was a terrific prime minister. He made fabulous decisions. He made a change to Canada. But it was time to go. Trudeau is different. It's not that people are tired of him. It's that people are realizing it's one of the worst governments Canada has ever had. So, Prime Minister, enjoy your next year in office. I know you're not going to go. You like the trains and planes and aeroplanes. But, Canadians, we are in for a change. And it's about darn time. Rejoice! This show provides independent analysis of the issues. We are not paid by the government. And as I am finding, so much business in Canada relies upon various governments that they don't want to sponsor or advertise on a show which may become controversial, which talks about liberty, freedoms, sometimes criticizes government. I've had guests on that support the government. But people are saying, you know what? We don't want to bite the hand that feeds us, i.e. government, which is why I hope you'll subscribe and contribute to keep this show on the air.